everybody. Welcome new to a new video of my uh, W201 V12 project. So today is a pretty special day. It's like a milestone in the project to start up your car. So uh, if this is the first video in this project, uh, in the right corner for you, in my logo you can go to, uh, to my playlist and see the complete build up to this point. So uh, yeah, all the settings are in. Uh, yesterday evening, uh, Depe Engineer had a look at my ECU for uh, I feel all the settings are right and I put everything in the right position. Check the last thing, so uh, it's a very, very big chance the car will start up today. So uh, we will have a look. So if you're new to the project, also look on my website jamespeedshop.com. So let's have a look if we can get this car started. out of it they were pretty black and uh, that was also telling me that the lovely reading is okay on this side it was very leaned out but these spark plugs were uh, a little bit wet from fuel so if you've got a misfire it will lean out on your uh, on your measurement so that was also uh, confirmed me that that lovely reading was uh, okay because there was too much oxygen left because you had a misfire so this morning they pay engineering uh, Locked into the lab in my laptop and looked with me when I started the engine, and we did some synchronization with the total bodies to give this side a little bit more air, and now they are running in between uh, 0 0.9 uh, lambda and 1.1 lambda. So that's good enough to get the car on temperature, get the transmission uh, checked out if it will shift in gear. That's the stuff. Uh, the oil levels are good uh, level, and get the cooling fluid. Uh, uh, all the air bleed out of the system because now I'm waiting to get the engine cooled down because I was up to 95 degrees Celsius. <coughs> so I've, because the engine was, is running a little bit high in, uh, in idle, it's around 1500 RPM. So that will, and then the cooler cannot keep up with the temperature because I'm not driving. So the fans are on, but it will not give me enough flow. But also, a good thing is I don't have any leaks anymore. I got two uh, cooling fluid leaks, one was from my overflow tank, I fixed that and uh, one line in the back that's going to the heater in the car was uh, dripping a little bit so 
overall very good results. So the next thing what I'm going to do is uh, when it's dry, I will have a look if I can uh, have a look uh, if I can drive a small piece to see if uh, the transmission works like it should. So I'm not going to the dyno when my transmission is not working. So that's the only thing I need to test before I go to the dyno. So uh, that will be the next video. So pretty good results up to this point. The car is running. It uh, sounds very nice. It's not. I think the sound is not too much. It's not like uh, a lot of people like the Pagani sound. I don't really like that in a daily car or in a daily car in this car. So I'm happy with the sound that's that this car produces. Uh, after this, you will see the sound of what it's now uh, sounding up to 1500 RPM. So it will be pretty nice and high RPM, of course. So. If you're new to the channel, look below is my uh, website jamespeacher.com, have a look over there. All nice uh, pictures, nice videos about this project. You can also go to the right and the right corner of my logo, go to my playlist and see all the other videos about this build. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support and uh, see you for the next video. Bye bye.